<laughs> because I always think there's something that I haven't bought. Good day, dear people. We are back out. We're back in another urban setting, as you can probably hear by the road. And I'm with Matt Jarvis, who's across the road and... Can't get, my, can't get it on the tripod. <laughs> There's a face I recognise, and the reason we're here today... Paddle McGee down here. Um, has found a... Are they nesting? They are. Nice. Let's go and have a word with Russ. I don't think you've met Russ. Have you met Russ? Have you met? Have, have you two met? Um, I am incredibly excited to be back out. I, yes. Very, very good feeling. Woo, steps. Russell, dear boy. So, let's explain. Russ the other day sent me a message, said you'll never guess what I've just found. I said, what have you just found, Russ? I will never guess. And what did you say? Sand martins. There you go. <laughs> See, right on cue, natural. Also, who's this? Who's this? To trying to, who's this vlogging? In the. Hey, that's Mr. Jarvis. It just walks into. Sorry, we're just like walking was... into each other's shots. Here. Well, done it. This is it's tragic. Mad. Do you want to go first? Go As I was saying, um, Russ found these sand martins and said he's going to come back and try and photograph them from his paddleboard. Uh, they're in that wall wrong? over there. Are they in that? What? Could but nothing, wrong? nothing could go wrong, Russ. Absolutely nothing. Quite a lot could go wrong. Right, I'm letting, letting Matt do his vlog. I'm just moving up the way. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. So, uh, you'll, you'll have to illustrate this with um, close-ups, but there are three holes. It's really fast. One, two, three. They're nesting in all three? There, there are more nesting holes Sorry. further around the corner of the river, but you can only access them by the river. These are the best holes to access from the bank. The best holes for the old martins. I actually can't bear this anymore. I need to, I need to get the camera out, because this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, this is going to be a challenge, but I'm going to absolutely love it. So this is the first shot I've taken. I'm gonna have a play. I'm gonna try some action shots as well. But just get such a cool shot of a sand button. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, textures, urban contrast. Oh, I like this. So I've just moved along here. Oh, put the bag down. I've left Matt and Russ back along there taking photos of the sand martins coming into the main wall that has most of the nests in. But, I managed to spot one going into a much smaller hole, which I think will make for a better photo. I can't really think how to put it into words as to why, but basically because it's got less space around it as it's going in and out the nest, I think it'll make for a better image. Can't think how to explain it, but hopefully we'll wait, get the photo, and I can show you exactly what I mean, and you tell me if you think it's a better shot or not. I waited by the hole for about 45 minutes and only saw it a handful of times. Sadly, when I did see it, it wasn't coming out head first because it was such a narrow pipe, so I couldn't really get the kind of shot that I'd imagined, though I was still able to get this shot. It's quite cool, I'm just... Oh, this is like the first time being out since lockdown and... Dang, it's... Uh, it's good. <laughs> it was nice. I think Russ is just going to go for a paddle anyway. So he's going to leave me and Matt to it for a little bit. It's nice to be out, man. It's nice. Why am I and you, why are you and I, yes. so excited to see okay. Sam Martins in the middle of Bristol? Yeah, I can shit my way through that. That's easy. Um, <laughs> story of my life. Oh. You see swallows, swifts and house martins a lot, especially around Bristol. But to get Sam Martins, you normally have to go to the coast. And they nest in big, sandy banks um, in the holes, a bit like here. Um, so this is just a, an urban version of it, and that's quite rare, I'd say. You don't get it in a whole lot of places. Yeah, they're so usually quite they're quite specialist in their habitat, aren't they? Exactly. This, this is exactly the sort of place, you know, holes in walls, in walls away from people, normally by water, is exactly where they nest. Mm. So this is a perfect place for it, but just a bit different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I've only actually seen San Martins once before, and it was about 10 years ago. 
and it was in, as you say, down on the beach in a big sandy bank. So really surprised to see San Martins just chilling in a wall in the middle of Bristol. And no risk of disturbance, so I'm happy to tell you all. <laughs> you can just come and stand and watch. Perfect place to watch them, actually, yeah. Yeah, come and have a watch. It's uh, near Temple Mead. Get the train down, pop along and see some cool urban wildlife. Matt, how you doing? Rowers are really fast. <laughs> Every time they go fast, past, I'm like, they're really quick. So, little update. It's gone a bit mad, isn't it? How do we explain what happened? I guess it all went a bit mad. Where's the light? Yeah. It all went a bit mad in the, the main area. I've got some insane, insane footage. And then we all got really distracted by a pigeon and I've been having an absolute blast trying to get this pigeon. And I've been set up trying to get a tracking shot of it flying towards the camera, and I think I got it. That will be going in with the end sequence. I was trying to get uh, pictures of... Two metres, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just saying. I was trying to get pictures of the... Um... I don't actually know what I was trying to do. I've loosened this ring a bit. I think it just gets a bit stiff. Has anyone else had problems with GH5 focus rings on the 300 lens? You do. They're absolutely disgusting. Oh, oh, slated. Panasonic Lumix, I love you, but sort this out. We're gonna get back to it. As it turns out, being a fair distance from your subject actually makes it pretty tricky to get any kinds of shots other than head on. I did try different locations, like up on the bridge, where I got a bit lucky with a goldfinch that decided to perch right in front of me on some barbed wire. But really, photography is proving pretty tricky in that respect, so I decided to focus more on the video side of things as I was able to make use of different frame rates and crop factors to keep things varied and interesting without impacting the quality of the footage too much. Though during our hours spent watching the wall, we noticed the chicks were actually beginning to fledge. San Martins fledged just 19 days after hatching, and will often do several test flights before finally leaving. Sometimes they did need a bit of encouragement from mum and dad though, who seemed to use food to try and tempt them out of the nest. Watching all this happen was really quite amazing, and the thing that really hit me about it all was the location. So I decided to set up and wait for a wider, more habitual type shot of the chick being fed. I was aware I may not get the kind of shot I wanted, but I had plenty of fascinating behaviour to watch whilst I waited, so I was pretty happy. It's been a really good day, thanks for this Russ. How have you found it Matt? I find nearly every single wildlife photography or videography day frustrating <laughs> because I always think there's something that I haven't got. Burning hole. Where's my hole? <laughs> Somewhere to the right, somewhere to the left. <laughs>